Hello and welcome. Hello, it's me, me, Game 06. This is an op just for you. You know I don't like it. Project Dwayne, man. Got it for a hot second. In this world are among some of the best. Yeah, recording. They get more air time, more time on target than any of us national pilots outside of the periphery. In truth, you get the glamour we all thought fighter pilots were supposed to have when signing up to the academy. And for that, you're making five times what I make in a year. Also, you get all the women. Also, you have a huge I wonder if aircraft. Surprising, but I don't think you're the type to give that answer. Not to me, anyway. What I'm trying to say is, you're capable, oh, right. you're capable than most of getting this far in. And because of that, we need you on deck for a one man mission. Cascadia Southeastern Desert hosts the Solana Communication Array. It was a Federation and Cascadian telecom venture meant to expand Cascadia's networking capability regardless of any thermal interference that traditionally plagues long-range communications. With that facility, communications between various Federation units are streamlined, while limiting, jamming, and interrupting our own. Nothing to say the censorship abilities that are used to enforce the civilian information flow. This is one of the Independence Force's top targets. However, it's been outside our strike range until now. Seems our skin on. Distance yeah. from our front lines, no fuel can be wasted dodging or circumventing Federation anti-air systems en route. In short, we're sending you alone to clear up the most disruptive defense systems before we engage in a full-scale operation to knock out the facility. You will insert into the Kaohord defense region in the Raver Mountains and take out all critical defense systems under cover of night. The defense system is calibrated for mass aerial strikes, but a lone aircraft flying relatively level with the mountains should be able to slip through and take them out. Dismissed. I do kind of... As much as, you know, the underground missions in, like, uh, Ace Combat are cool, doing it in VR would be so hard. Also, I found another thing. that You can actually, or I can, you know, replay missions to get more cash. So I won't have to worry about, you know, hacking myself over. And also, on the last Let's Play, uh, like, the enemy was flying airplanes, so we destroyed them. But then there were civilian airplanes, and we tried to not commit war crimes. Also, let's see. I did want to test one thing. Where's my mouse? Put this down there and then click back on it. Huh. God, I completely forgot about that. I mean, it has been a hot minute since I've done. Um, what is it? Uh, VR stuff that basically like when you whenever I play other games it goes for like whatever um, whatever percentage I have for that game but for this one if I increase and decrease my own volume it increases and decreases it for the thing so is red that we don't have it actually uh, no, it was mostly ground units wasn't it as much as I do find this thing a fun and useful oh, it wasn't bad. We'll try it. Uh, let's see. I want dual volley. Uh, let's yeah, go for that one. Oh, and what's flares F? Again, it's been a hot minute since I've played this. Oh yeah, this one. Oh wait, that's firing. Right, it's not mouse movement. Yeah, I have these things just a bit loose so it doesn't you know, blast my ears while you can actually hear it. No, oh, woo. Getting blasted. What was that? Huh? I mean... I hope there isn't a mountain in the way.
Oh, bad guys. Oh, must be like uh, lightning. Guns, guns, guns. Air bogey. Who's us? Just me. Sorry, I'm just gonna have to look it up again. Gun. Oops, that's something else. Which one is, uh. Flares? Oh well. It should be fine ish, hopefully. How did the giant satellite dish not get blasted? It's a giant satellite. I, we hit it again and nothing? Like, I'm not 100% sure how resilient those things would be, but you'd think a satellite dish would be like, one and done. We got time, so let's, uh, take this down. Oh, AWAX. Okay. I don't feel hot, but my face is completely cooked. Why? What is up with those giant towers? What? Answers. Uh, one of those things in front of me, please. Come on. I don't know why I'm pointing directly at them, yet this thing was like, uh, do we want to target the thing directly in front of us? Not really. I think that was it. F G. Adam. Each other. Really? Add two close. Oh, no. 
Guns, guns, guns. Like, what is that? Some peacekeepers spoke about a pilot like this. It might be him up there. Uh, radar? Okay. Hitting. I'm gonna go up because I can't see Dick. Eh. Why did I hit? I don't know what I'm shooting at, but it's a thing. So what are these? Okay, that's an airplane. These guys are more dangerous trying not to hit them, as in run into them. Foxes. Why can't Fox News actually be about foxes? Need the players, but it's like, well, might as well. Is there a guy there? Yeah, there is a guy there. What do we got? We got guys. It has like long range. Oh, I guess that's long Sam. Fair enough. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So, any of these targets? Try not to hit that tower like you did when you were drunk. It came out of nowhere, I swear. 
hammer kids don't drink. I mean, it's your wallet, body, and everything else. Like, I like alcohol quite a bit. It's just, I've seen it destroy way too many lives. And also, I'd use it too, and... Oh, I found the ground. Not sure if you can see that achievement. <clears throat> But yeah, don't do alcohol. It also makes you full of anxiety and depression. So, do I have to go? You know, I was just saying, I really hope I don't have to do any underground missions. Like, here's the thing, if... This game had checkpoints, then yeah. Sure, I would definitely go in those to get those extra containers. This doesn't have any checkpoints. There's a guy up there, though. What about the guy? It looked like there was things up there. Whatever, I guess. Bad, Monarch, for making you come with us tomorrow to hit that communication facility, especially after what you pulled off tonight single-handedly. Though that was one hell of a thing you did, and I got a feeling Operation Blackout will teach you on point. We have a straight shot to Cascadia Southeast, and, with any luck, we'll have fuel to spare for the fight. Sicario is mobilizing en masse tomorrow morning. Get some sleep. So where's Sicario? It's been a hot minute. I do need to wipe the insides of me spectacles. Can you see that? Yeah. Nope. Okay, next mission. There's nothing much I need to say to you, Sicario. Operation Blackout will be conducted entirely by you. I cannot, however, express enough how important this strike is. Commander, you have the floor. The Ator Desert has hosted the Solana Communication Array for the greater part of the decade. It was a Federation project in country that was meant to boost and maintain the communications infrastructure of Cascadia. However, during the war, it has served as a jamming and communication facility. The very basis of a unified command structure is built on the pillars of communication. If we take out this facility, it'll be like yanking the rug out right from beneath their feet. The facility is heavily defended, hosting an airbase and a ground garrison on its own. The only way we're getting boots on the ground is via a mass airdrop, followed by relentless close air support from our fighter group until the entire place is overrun. It's as simple as that. Now, normally, the Independence Force would be offering some assistance, but they can't afford that now. Under any other pretense, this is a suicide mission. Even with the air corridor Monarch cleared up, there's only enough fuel for a one-way trip. So the only way we're coming back is if we take the adjoining airbase after we hit the facility. Expect heavy air and ground resistance. Pillboxes, tanks, AA, airships, the whole shebang. Shebang? If we pull this off, well, let's just say we'll be handsomely rewarded. Gold or glory, gentlemen. Get to your plights. The Cascadians call this place the Devil's Sandbox. So what does that mean if we're the ones playing in it, huh? <laughs> Let's go. Mm, I'd prefer femboys. Okay. Was there something I was going to look at, so... Oh, yeah, let's go look for aircraft. It was kind of funny looking back at some of my older videos. Uh, we're still doing Rebel Galaxy at this moment, or posting them. Um, how uh, one of the let's places did it twice. What's on these? Okay, it has like three slots. 
I want some anti-ground thing that has a uh, better stats. And also has the uh, guidance stuff that that has right there. Some guidance. Some guidance. Uh, some guidance, but also in there. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll keep to our um, other thing. Yes. So, into this, let's play some Cam and Kaz. I like Cam and Sam, you like, dislike, tips, tricks, otherwise, if you like me, YouTube, and like to grow. Let's see if this actually. Uh, I can't read a damn thing. How will we pull ourselves all the way back and then. There we go. Okay, it doesn't say deadly. Okay. Uh, no, wait, didn't we change the difficulty? Did it say which one we are now? Because I might have changed it to harder mode. It'd be nice if it told me. Okay. Uh, Spain, eat your animals, and until next time, me, game will six, so Project Wingman. Thanks and see ya.